Welcome to Columbus, Ohio and the venerable Horseshoe, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes, a place that's home to such legendary names as Archie, Woody, Zeke, and Stroud. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day, as we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the number one team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Buckeyes will kick it away to start us off. run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Wolverines offense is on the field for the first time today. Stakes are always high in the game. Careers are made and lost because of it and they'll have to manage their emotions, guys. Some games in college football just mean more. When you think about Ohio State and Michigan, you think about not just Big Ten implications, national title implications, Heisman Trophy implications. Late in the year, David, this is just must-watch TV. Must-watch TV. Two of the winningest programs in college football history. This game, I tell you what, recent years has really brought back the tradition and been so much more competitive now that Michigan's also getting some wins. Back to pass, it's Warren. Quick strike complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Finds his big tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. The give to the tailback. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no gain land. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught close to the marker, it's Morgan. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. Off the play fake. Caught in the backfield, it's Edwards. Tackled there by the defense. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The give to the back. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Dropping back, it's Warren. Pocket starts to collapse. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see his zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. And the Wolverines will call on their punt team. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The Buckeyes offense will have its first possession of the game. 
And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's a different animal. Might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. What a great play. This guy is a force on this D-line. You think about Michigan football defensively, they've got dudes up front. Aiden Hutchinson, Brandon Graham, Mozzie Smith, Rashawn Gary. Guys that can win one-on-one -on -one and guys that change and force your game plan to have to adapt for them. You need to double team these guys if you want to have any chance. This is that type of player. He's got score. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat and down he goes again. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. And the Buckeyes will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. His first one of the day gave that leg a workout five times in last week's victory. Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Going to run it. It's Edwards. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Off play action. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws for the tight end. On target to the left. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Huge play. Puts them in the red zone and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. Relying on the run. He gets a couple before he's knocked down. Balls at the 13. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Makes the grab down the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. The offense basically has the whole field in front of them, backed up close to their own end zone. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Leaves it with the back. Fighting to get it out of the end zone, and I don't think he made it. He did not. It's a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. To the ground with the back. At the 40, there he goes. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. The colors of the day were maize and blue when Michigan won a close one last year. It was Ohio State leaving the stadium feeling blue after that one, too, the way that Michigan enforced their will late in that game. They were the most physical team when they needed to be, and David, they're going to have to do that again to pull out this double. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you're the coach at Ohio State and you won every game on your schedule, but you lose to Michigan, it's an unsuccessful year. So he's heard about it all offseason, and these players have too, and they'll be ready for some revenge. 
Running back searching for a hole. These two first squared off in 1897, and this rivalry is almost like a history of the sport itself. Uh, so much history, so much tradition. I, mean, I can go back to 2006 when they were 1-2 and two in the country. You know, like, these games really matter. The uniforms are clean. The athletes are flowing. There's tons of athletes all over the place. This is always a huge showdown. And you think about some of the great coaches that have graced the sidelines in this rivalry. Bo Schembechler at Michigan and Woody Hayes at Ohio State. And it's amazing, in a conference full of trophy games, maybe the greatest rivalry doesn't even have one. They move the tight end all over. Off play action on first down. Makes the grab. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Slams it ahead. Push down for the tackle. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Give to the fullback. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wolverines. Yeah, and you failed on first and second, but on third down, you give it to the big fullback, and he does the rest. Lower the shoulder, lower the pads, run physical, and get in that end zone. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A 70-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, boy. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking to pass, it's Howard. Using the quick game. Tackled immediately after the catch. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four down territory. Here's third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll give it to the back. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've spotted into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. The run from the shotgun. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. The Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try the run. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Tune in to the Ocho. Eighth play of the drive coming up. From the gun, the running back has it. And he could not get loose on the run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Wide out in motion. They've been running it, but now the pass. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. 
How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now down 9-7. to seven. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch at the 30. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete. Brings him down at the 48. It's a gain of 15 and a first down. New set of downs after that completion. They go to the ground. Sweet feet on the move. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Reading the option, it's Howard. And he probably should have left that one with the back as he is just smashed in the backfield. Wants to throw on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Try to barge their way in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The big fellas coming out in the goal line defense. Now the play fake. Into the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. They need to move it two more yards on third and goal. Pushes for the goal line. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Ohio State. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. They took it 64 yards right down the field and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to throw. It's Warren. 
trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, we see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. The Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll haul it in right around the logo. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. The give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll go right back to him. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. Ball at the 38. The defense will try to get a stop on third and short. Looks as if he's going to run it. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. The Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got a wide open receiver. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways. And they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year. And that's why they're a top 10 offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Loveland. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. It's a reverse. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Scanning the field, it's Warren. A little screen to the running back. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And the Wolverines are on the move. Looking for room, it's Edwards. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is that this has been a sack part. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Wolverines will punt it away on fourth down. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. 
Lane just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. They'll need to convert this third down from their own 22 to get this drive jump started. From the gun, wants to pass. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. And the Buckeyes decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They're testing the right side here. There are so many great rivalries in college football, guys, but I think this one, because of the disdain and the excellence, sort of rises to the top. Yeah, I mean, listen, there are great rivalries scattered all around this country, in-state rivalries, interconference rivalries, a great history, great pageantry. But I think what makes Ohio State versus Michigan unique is the fact that more often than not, these are two teams competing for national championships at the end of the year, and this game really does determine the national landscape. And 19 national championships between the two teams. Late in the year, it always matters. You go back to 2006, number one versus number two. So always disdain, always hate. Don't even call each other by their names. Like, this rivalry means so much to college football. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts... He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. To the air, it's Howard. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And a little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Grab behind the line. It's Judkins. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Trying play action. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Stewart. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Line gets set, first down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Tip ball, put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. They'll run play action. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Power football with the run. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Buckeyes send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Here comes the offense on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Right down the middle. 
It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again. Second and 10 from the 27. This time he's got it. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. It's third down from their own 34 as they try to keep the drive moving. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Morris. Love to see these third down conversions on offense and they're out to their own 39-yard line. He's going to pass. He's got his man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Nice job by the QB and receiver on this play in a two-minute situation, knowing to work the boundary, get the first down, and get the ball out of bounds. Great situational awareness. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking downfield, it's Warren. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. From 55 yards out, and he's got it. Never a doubt. So the offense, more than happy with the result of the play, will decline the penalty. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. That's going to wrap up the first half here. Now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, whether it's in the shoe or the big house, when you have these two programs with all that's at stake today, you know emotions run high in a game known simply as the game. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Ohio State plays out. Not much there. He gets one to the 11. Looking for a gap. It's Henderson. Just what the doctor ordered to get away from the shadow of that goal post and pick up a first down at the 23. Looking to move it through the air. Got him downfield. Got a lot of running room. Pass to 10. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Ohio State. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Paul. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Looking for a man. It's Howard. And they almost came up with that pick in the end zone. What a stop that would have been. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner goes down. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Another incompletion on third down. And the Wolverines line up to punt it away. Yeah. 
Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Good field position here as they start this drive from their 43. Going to run it. It's Henderson. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Things working pretty well for this defense out of the dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Yeah, get off the rock, understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line rushing after that guy and getting him on the ground. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the air. It's Warren. And that ball is picked off. Oh, you could just feel it. He wanted to make that a big return, but his offense will come out and take over at the 44. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Fires to the big fella. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quick completion to the right. Off he goes. Got enough space. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the punishment has been extended. Ohio State is dotting Michigan's eye as the Buckeyes are firmly in control. And Ohio State, you know, they've let a few get away from their rival in Michigan, and they're trying to get that back. So they came into this one with a chip on their shoulder. They're not always used to being in that position when they play against Michigan. But, David, in the second half here, it's all Buckeyes. Yeah, and you know you got to be physical. When you play the Wolverines, you know the type of brand that they play. Ohio State has matched that physicality. They have been ready. They were ready for the game, and they've handled business. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Give to the running back. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go to the ground. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Wants to throw. It's Warren. Quickly complete. Nice job by the wide receiver getting open on that slant route against man coverage. He fakes like he's going to the outside. He's able to create some separation, cross his face, and then secures the catch. He goes down at the 47 after a five-yard pickup. The Wolverines are flying down the field. 
Takes a handoff. It's Edwards. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Plows through the defense. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. And the Wolverines with the first and ten. They'll leave it with him. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. They've put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. The play action fake. They're trying to get to it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Here comes the field goal unit. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hatch. It's good. Easy call for the ref. I'll tell you, man, this kid has NFL-type leg strength. He just booted that into the wind, and that was no problem. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. You know, when you go dime personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. You're expecting to at least have a little bit more time, but your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. And the Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, the ground game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Warren. Oh, he can't hang on. Almost had the interception, and this guy makes so many big plays but couldn't come up with that one. It'll be fourth down. And they'll just down it right there. This drive will commence from their own 11-yard line. Give to the back. Open space at the 25. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. They had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Gets it out quickly. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Hand off from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Abuka. 
They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Makes the grab on the left. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Got some work to do after that last play. Second and 13. Fast motion from the offense. On second down, he'll let it fly. With the catch, it's Scott. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. He'll pull it on the read. And he's hit and taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four. It's second and 14. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough, third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. The lone back's got it. They stop him after a six yard run out to the 24. He's now up to 75 yards on the ground as he gets closer and closer to that magical 1,000-yard mark for the season. Off the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Oh, they knock it free. And the defense has it. Everybody reverse skate. Touchdown, Ohio State. The defense with the scoop and score. Great job by the defense. The ball's thrown, the ball's complete. Swarming to the football, knock it out, and then guess what? Be there to scoop it up, run it back to the end zone. Huge play by this defense. try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're out there to kick it off. The return team must rivet that ball to their rib cage. Can't afford another turnover. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Here's the handoff. Nifty run there. Pickup of six out to the 25. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. On the ground, it's Edwards. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They'll try to get the first through the air. He lost one down the sideline. Makes the grab inside the 30. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Michigan. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight.
Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with some flair, a 73-yard touchdown pass. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, David. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. They're going to ride this running back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Using his legs, it's Henderson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Buckeyes will send out the punt unit. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Going up top on first down. Going to take a shot at this DB. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Klein. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. He'll just keep slinging it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football. The impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. Toss to the outside. Sweet feet on the move. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the field goal unit is on the field. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And it's no good. Guys, they didn't get the field goal there, but still a 22-point lead to work with. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. 
That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. Oh, he had it and he dropped it. Almost one of those big plays he's known for. It'll be third down. Lost one deep down the right side. Fires it into traffic and it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Looking for space, it's Henderson. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The give to the tailback. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. The give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The Buckeyes will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. He'll come out throwing on first down. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball security. And after the loss on that last one, an all-important second down play from the 12. He's looking to throw. Good, solid tackle. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. He's looking to throw. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And that decision will be questioned for a while. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Moves it forward just a bit. A pickup of one to the 35. Quarterback will audible. They knock him down inside the 30 at the 29. It's a pickup of six. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They'll try to run for it. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time on the left side. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the 
pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And that decision will be questioned for a while. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Moves it forward just a bit. A pickup of one to the 35. Quarterback will audible. They knock him down inside the 30 at the 29. It's a pickup of six. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They'll try to run for it. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They'll try it on the ground. Drills him with a stiff arm. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. And he'll be ushered out of bounds at the three. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Going to the running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. A relatively short field goal try from 26 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they'll push that lead out a little further. First order of business here. Don't give up a big return. Then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They'll throw it on first down. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. He's looking to throw it. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. After this, it'll be a wrap. He's back to throw on second down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Last pass falls incomplete, and that's going to do it. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. I'm really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well. Dude. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident. And David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like, you sometimes get overzealous. Sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check, and now, bragging rights. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.